Today I'm lucky to introduce you to the author and illustrator of If You Come to Earth. Please join me in welcoming Sophia Blackall to our Douglas County Elementary Schools. Good morning, everyone. I am so excited to be here with you. Students from all across Douglas County School District took a virtual front seat to talk with this year's one book, one district author, Sophie Blackall. Birds can sing, so can whales and people. People make all kinds of music on our own and all together. Joining the students all the way from Australia, Sophie discussed the art. At the top, you will see my watercolor set, and my dad gave me those watercolors when I was 15 years old. Her inspiration for creating the book. On the page of grown-ups doing things, every single person on this page is a real person. And some pictures from her travels across the world. And we drew and drew and drew until every last inch of the roll of paper had drawings on it. Students here at Frontier Valley created some artwork inspired by the author's book and were able to ask some questions as well. Have you ever thought of making a book like If You Come to Earth but showing details of your state? If you had to choose a different form to write this book, then what would you use? The students also shared some of their favorite parts of the book. So my favorite part in the book is probably when there's like everybody at like that one little area having like a picnic. Because it like just shows how many different people there is. My favorite part of the book is uh, the part where it shows all the people running like in a marathon showing everybody's different. And like I like how there was even like Usain Bolt there just at the front beating everyone. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Sophie also shared a little known secret. Grab one. Oh, I see it. it. Look, aliens. Oh my goodness. We've, We've never taken off a book oh, jacket. Wow. Wait, what about the back one? Yes. Look at that. Yes.